Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hi there. Welcome back. So for those of you that have been following the channel on a regular basis and you caught uh, the video we did, gosh, I forget if it was yesterday or a couple days ago, we were talking about weather mod, M-O-D, ification. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. As we're always trying to uh, get by a I, uh, if you know what uh, I mean. Uh -huh. Um, like we just did an update earlier today um, on Ascension from the Galactics. And, you know, I was seeing that the views weren't high. And then I realized, oh, I spelled the whole second word out. Mm -hmm. You have to break it up because it, it gets into an algorithm and they'll bury it. They will absolutely mm -hmm. bury it so that only those people that are coming to look on a regular basis and see what's up get to see it. And that's part of everything that we're, we have going on in this crazy ass backwards world. It is. That's definitely a good word to, to put it there. The PLA, People's Liberation Army, warns the Yihatan Dam in the center of China could collapse at any time after being severely damaged in torrential storms. Well, you know, this, this is not the only one is the, the issue. And the bigger issue is, is what's really going on here? As you see this dramatic collapse of Xin Fa Embankment Dam in northern China due to overtopping that happened yesterday. Notice how quickly the dam is washed away. In spite, this is despite the dam has a large capacity chute type spillway and a bottom outlet which acts as an emergency spillway. You know, this is what's going on, guys. So, in fact, as we're going to see here, this Twitter loads. Da, da, da. Loading, sing for us. Loading, sing loading. for us, Cindy. Sing Keep for us. those websites loading. <laughs> Rawhide. <laughs> Guajiazhu Dam near Zhenzhou City, which experienced severe flooding, has collapsed. Yes, the third dam in 48 hours. China's central government has raised the nationwide flood emergency response level, according to state media. So here we see massive flooding hit hits this area, more than eight in, well, almost eight inches of rain in just an hour. As I was trying to get her attention to tell Zeke to stop making all these noises oh, over there, Zeke. yeah, because he's he he just you know he's he's got itchy skin, so I just gave him basically a, a coconut oil bath, and yes. then then he loves the coconut oil, so he's just licking himself so happily. <laughs> 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 Yummy! <laughs> As we see a scene that we've seen so many times, you know, cars just being swept away and flooding. That is absolutely unbelievable. Flooding that we really didn't see on a daily basis if you go back five or ten years. Mm -hmm. That's right. We didn't see that. Not like this. This is something incredible. And, yeah, I don't believe this is an act of God. I believe this is more likely an act of maybe H-A-A-R-P, mm -hmm. as there's more than one of those. There's more of these, you know, those musical instruments that angels play. Uh -huh. uh, well, the version that angels don't play, they're, they're in many countries. They're in many locations. There's not, it's not just in Alaska. Yeah. And, you know, how terrible is the rain in China? It's incredible. But then how about Germany? You know, the, the death rate up there has just increased. Unfortunately, there's it catastrophic as we look across the globe. Is it a coming of a mud flood? It very well may be. It very well may be. Um, but I won't buy that it's all natural by any means. I, I think without a doubt, as we say here, artificial flavoring is involved. Yes. Incredible. There's rescues going on trying to trying to save people. As always, you know, it's it's the average people in these countries that really, for the most part, don't really care about politics. They just want to be able to lead, lead peaceful, happy lives. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they just want to be able to 
well, you know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness would be something that would be really nice to have. But that seems to be uh, getting either torched in the wildfires or drowned in the floods. I know. I mean, if you look at people just like the ones listening to this channel and us and all of us, we just want to live a happy life. And as long as these controllers are in control, I mean, we're, we're not going to get to live our content life. So we really need to up our our thoughts for a different outcome. Well, and again, it, it we were having a good discussion today with another family member. Hi, Janet. Hi, Janet. So, you know, it's like, at what point? At what point? Well, it's going to take kind of a consensus. It, it's going to take a critical mass. It's going to take way more than having 5% of the world awake and the rest, you know, basically sleepwalking or not understanding what's going on. How often do you see a typhoon make a U-turn? You know, I mean, how often does that happen? Is that is that just an act of God? Is that all natural? Or is that, you know, some artificial flavoring? Yeah, the seventh main storm of the system, uh, Pacific typhoon season. This is Typhoon Senpaka. Is approaching China's Guangdong province, where it's expected to make landfall, right? Of course. And it's going to make a U-turn, you know? I mean, well, hey, we've seen craziness. Look, look what happened over uh, in the Carolinas, right, with Florence. We've never had seen a hurricane that just stopped to a crawl, just decided to want to get to one spot and just, you know, hey, I like this area. I'm just mm -hmm. going to hang here all day, maybe tomorrow too, maybe the next day. Almost like somebody was there with some kind of a remote control kind of making the situation happen. Could that be? Well, um, I'm sure it was not angelic in nature. No. Definitely not. And, you know, look at the underlying things we see going on. So we see massive flooding in China, right? Massive, massive flooding. And NATO member Germany, tremendous flooding as well. We've had flooding in France. We have flooding in the UK. Uh, we have massive flooding going on in, in the U.S. on one side. And then we also have incredible wildfires on the other side. Meanwhile, we see in this propaganda video, China threatens to NUKE Japan, right? After Japan vows that they will, they will defend Taiwan no matter what. And meanwhile, you know, we, we have statements coming out of China uh, that reunification will be taking place. It's, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when they decide to. And then over here, we see China compromises, compromised U.S. pipelines in decade-old cyber attack, latest hacking allegations come as the JB administration unveils new cybersecurity rules for pipeline operators. And, oh, by the way, I forgot to pull this up there. But thank you, Brother Ben, um, for sending this to me. Yes, thank you, Brother Ben. And also, wouldn't it just be something absolutely wonderful if they just taught them how to use a manual override? Uh huh. Yeah, I think that would be that should be like something super necessary instead of waiting until we get to this point and then saying, "Oh yeah, by the way, we better have this manual override." And you know, who knows? What if there is no manual override at this point? There might not be. I mean, things have gotten to that point. We've allowed technology to get to that point. Yeah. So you know, this this is what we wanted to talk about here. And this is uh, FEMA.gov. And there's always so much going on. So much going on that it's like, when do we stop? By the way, I mean, we could talk all day long, you know, and at some point we'll do lives again. We promise. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens, though, is when we do lives, because we're using the technology, and again, your smartphones, your TVs, your computers, your Wi-Fi, your your landline, you know, your your hardwired, it's all still, it's it's a highway for beings that are in this 4D environment. So they could come right through and you know reach out and touch you. And that happens all the time as you know, Cindy's very, very, very intuitive, empathetic, and sensitive. And without a doubt, every single time we do a live they start to hit her and it makes her physically sick and ill, you know, mm -hmm. to the point where sometimes it can take days to recover. So we're just waiting for me to get a wee bit stronger, guys, and then we'll do some lives. It'll be so fun. 
information. So FEMA and the FCC plan nationwide emergency alert tests for August 11th. Test messages will be sent to TVs and radios along with select, select cell phones that have opted in to receive the text messages. And, you know, with everything that's going on around us, August is going to be a huge month. It's yes. going to be huge. We've received that message. Um, you know, I, I heard it clear as day. And I believe, you know, we, we've talked about the ability of the alphabet soups of certain governments. They have the technology to say hello to you in your head. It's a real technology. And, you know, they, they do use it. it. It's out there. Now, people will say, well, how do you know you're not being hacked? Like you're not really talking to the galactics. You're actually talking to uh, somebody at a switchboard, perhaps, you know, with a headset on, you know, in a deep underground base with a gray alien right next to them and a reptilian on the other side. And they're all sipping Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. Well, because of the vibration that comes through. And when you get sensitive enough, you could tell when it's humans on the other side. You could tell when it's demons on the other side. You could tell when it's greys, reptilians. They all have a different signature. Everything has its own frequency. So this is part of the biggest reason of all why all this is happening. Because we're literally waking up. We're, our DNA is being rearranged. We're gaining these quote-unquote paranormal psychic abilities that we simply have all the time when we're in the golden age and, yeah. and, and in the silver age as, as well. And so leaving the Kali Yuga, our abilities start to increase. And then when you listen to two people calling each other liars, it's so easy to tell which one's lying. Mm -hmm. As we were looking at a certain doctor whose last name begins with an F talking to a certain senator with the uh, initials RP and, you know, both of them kind of accusing the other of being the liar. Well, it, it was damn obvious which one of those two were lying. It's so, so obvious. And you really just start learning how to listen to your heart chakra. And I've even seen, I don't know, it was a little while ago, headlines where they were afraid <clears throat> to allow meditation and yoga into like grade school, you know, because... The reason they're afraid of it is because it helps you build your abilities to understand things outside of you. Because as soon as you understand things on the outside of you, they're no longer in control. Yeah, as we have said so many times, that's why they, they, they construct our political situation. Uh, this, the, the whole structure of the political system is given to us by the controllers. And they also, you know, and I know this tweaks, this can tweak people in the wrong way. They, they even are always distorting our religions and, you know, our science. It's, it's all distorted. It's all been altered. You know, there's great messages that have come through by, by many amazing saints and amazing gurus, teachers, just beautiful spiritual human beings and it's distorted, twisted, and used in such a way that we're always divided, one against the other. It's just part of the matrix that we're in. Here we see we'll, we'll sail where international law allows the UK to permanently deploy vessels, naval vessels, to the South China Sea amid regional tensions. Permanently. You know, that, that's most definitely an escalation. And, you know, we do have those that will always say, you know, nothing will happen. But, you know, this time is different. They really are pushing full steam ahead. And the thing that's different is they're running out of time. Because when we get to a critical mass and enough people can look and clearly tell when somebody's telling the truth because of the feelings, the knowing, it's the gnosis. Again, Gnosticism is about gnosis. It's about experiential it's not left brain analyzing deducting well this seems logical that seems logical this is probably like a better than 50 50 chance no it's just simply feeling a situation and knowing it's just you know you know they give us all the clues in the movies as we said so many times you know what does luke do when he's really learning how to use the force it covers his eyes. He has to feel it, sense it, 
in order to really know. Britain plans to launch covert special forces operations against Russia and China, military chief tells the media. Again, you know, it's already underway. We just don't see it. Uh, but it's already underway. And, and the reason why I have this with the earth changes is because they're so obviously interconnected. Mm -hmm. It's completely interwoven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, these things are just, they go hand in hand. And I think it's important to point that out to people because that adds to the ability to awaken and say, hey, something's not right. So Russia has uh, just basically given us a view of their new fighter jet. Half the cost of an F-35 and supposed to actually even be superior. Mm. And, you know, many will believe because of pride that it couldn't possibly be superior. But the, when the plans are to shift power out of the USA by those that really control the power structure, which is, again, number one thing is money. It's the monetary system. And, you know, there was a certain man with uh, the last name Red Shield made a statement once saying, I don't care what puppets there are up on the throne or in the presidency or the prime ministership. It doesn't matter. They that control the money control everything. The money is heading in a certain direction, and it's not in the United States. They're backing the apparent opposition and, you know, we shouldn't get uh, <clears throat> bogged down into in the uh, us and them because it's it's not it wouldn't be the U.S. against Russia or U.S. against China. It's really it's it's controllers against humanity and controllers against every living organism on the planet. I think that's such a beautiful way to put that. That's where we need to see things in a, a more um, a, a bigger way. We need to see it like that. Yeah, that's why, you know, I know, again, some people, like, if I say things like, well, you know, wh why why push the feeling pride about your country? Why not feel it for everything? Mm -hmm. How about instead of pride, how about just gratitude, you know, for the bigger powers in this multiverse? You know, gratitude mm -hmm. for source and the opportunity to make a difference and make a change in the world. Gratitude for your mom, your dad, your, your brother, your sister, your loved ones, your family, you know, but gratitude that we are all unique expressions. That's why when you go from country to country, there's beautiful things about each country. You know, we, we might disagree. I might say India is the best because their food is the best. <laughs> you know, and you might say, no, Italy, because they have the best food. Mm -hmm. Or you might say France, because they have the best wines. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I prefer Australian wines. They're heavier and more robust. Uh, you know, whatever it is, natural scenery. There's some, some of us that love the mountains, other of us that love the beach. So, you know, there is no one best anything when you get down to it. It's all a matter, again, it, it breaks down to subjective, objective, right? It, it's all a matter of view, what lens you're looking through. But what we need to do is not let ourselves be pitted against each other out of a lower vibrational frequency, which, you know, there's other ones besides anger and jealousy and hatred, all these things. But this is what is basically pushed on us. And these are different times. You see, the Iranian Navy increases its international presence. Iranian naval incursions continue to increase the Persian country after consolidating its presence in the Caribbean, included Europe and its navy's route. French and British governments are concerned about the passage of Iranian ships in the English Channel, and international tensions are likely to rise as Tehran is becoming a new naval power with intercontinental projections. Two Iranian ships that were in the Atlantic recently allegedly carrying arms to Venezuela were seen in the English Channel between the UK and France. Iran's destroyer Sanhand and support vessel Makran departed from the center of the Atlantic Ocean and crossed the English Channel last Sunday, according to the data captured by intelligence satellites from France and the US. The presence of the ships was first reported by the USNI news media agency, which believes what, that the vessels were crossing 
the channel during a journey to Russia, where they will supposedly participate in a Russian naval parade in St. Petersburg on Sunday, July 25th. However, there is still no concrete data to affirm the real reasons for the uh, for the movement. And it just goes into saying how potent these are. These are not like what we've seen in the Iranian Navy before, which you know many would equate to being next to rubber duckies in your bathtub. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not like that at all now. No, they're getting upgrades because, again, the power structure in the world is making it so that certain countries can catch up to other countries. Not only catch up, but even surpass. And, you know, this is the changing of the guard because what do they want? They want complete control. There are many that are terrified of S-H-A-R-I-A -A law, right? That brings chills into to spines. And when we look at, say, Islam, which means to, to submit, to submit to the will of God, well, to submit to one person's interpretation of the will of God. Right, because you're believing that it's Muhammad that brought that word, you know, word of God to humanity. Were you there? No. So what? Well, how are you doing it? I'm take, you're taking it on faith. Well, look around you. What do you see? Endless wars. How about the Crusades? Multiple times. The endless wars between Islam and Christianity. Take a step back. Look at again the Tower of Babel in a new light. Look. They're united. We can't have that. Let us separate them. And this is how we are kept separated. And this is exactly what is still ongoing. And part of the whole thing is keeping people into less than ideal health and well-being. And we're going to get into that because that clouds our judgment. Mm -hmm. It really, really does. You know, healthy mind, healthy body. And, you know, unhealthy mind, unhealthy body, you know, can correlate as well. Canada's BC declares state of emergency as wildfire surge. And, uh, you know, one of our family members up, up in Wisconsin uh, was saying how much smoke there was from all the wildfires in Canada and over in Montana and Idaho, Oregon. You know, the West is burning. And so is a large section of Canada with nearly 300 wildfires actively burning. And, of course, we have that record heat that's ongoing. Do you know that they do transplant, uh, transplant, well, sort of, they haul nuclear weapons all across the country. And if you looked at this truck, you wouldn't think anything of it. I mean, it's not really marked. It's all pure white. It doesn't have, like, it, it's not an army truck. It might be carrying something that could take out an entire city next to you on the highway. You know, it's just something I, I wanted to bring up and let people be aware of. And then that begs to wonder, without a huge convoy next to it, I wouldn't think it would be too hard to have a certain select group of, uh, you know, sleepers hijack something like that. Yeah, right? let's not put it on the front page of a newspaper. So, yeah, the picture you're looking at, it's one of the tractor trailers used by the National Nuclear Security Administration, which oversees transportation of nuclear bombs and other nuclear materials all across the country. Yeah, maybe we need to have Geiger counters on us all the time. Yeah, I think that it's getting to be that way. Well, you know, you should definitely take your Geiger counter to the grocery store. Oh, uh, for sure. Everybody should. How many people realize that they irradiate food? Irradiation kills harmful bacteria to make your food safer. This is totally approved by the by the powers that be. Irradiation. What foods can be irradiated? Well, you, know, you can see the different years that they made it possible, like wheat flour for the control of mold. White potatoes inhibits the sprouting. Pork, because it kills a parasite. Fruits and veggies, herbs and spices, poultry, meat. Everything, pretty much. Mm -hmm can be irradiated. What is that doing to your body? And other things too. Campbell Soups, now with hidden MSG, right? As hydrolyzed vegetable protein and autolyzed yeast extract. 
Try our new glow-in-the-dark noodles, too. Give it to your children, because soup is good food. And it looks like brake fluid for your car. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we've talked about so many things that are out there that can hijack our health. And yeah, this is a huge one. Food irritation risks. Too many questions about food safety and the big C word. Nation's first irradiated fruits and veggies were sold in 1992 at a small Miami supermarket. The food was treated with massive doses of ionizing radiation, 100,000 rads, roughly equivalent to 10 million medical x-rays at a large Cobalt 60 facility, which plans to treat 800 million tons of food a year in nationwide sale. So this has been approved by the Atomic Energy Commission's efforts in the Eisenhower administration to find practical uses for a flood of radioactive waste from nuclear weapons. Well, this is a practical food why don't, uh, use. Why don't we just eat it? Yeah. See what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Godzilla. Right. Yes. You know, it, is this not crazy? Is this not insanity that's going on all around us in so many levels? Well... <clears throat> You know, all in the name of profits, perhaps, mm -hmm. perhaps other things as well. Top 10 foods to help you naturally detox from radiation. And, you know, automatically iodine comes to mind if there's a major exposure or something out there. Because radioactive elements will bind to the thyroid if the body's low on iodine. Most people in the U.S. are low on iodine anyway, so you shouldn't worry about overdosing on the vital substance. Iodine's protection is only good for about 48 hours. So long as you skip a day in between doses, you should be good, That's according to this article, which is from uh, Natural Health News. Chlorella, 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 and spirulina. We've been talking about this uh, on many via, uh, videos and talking to many people about this too. Single cell type of algae, it's super high in chlorophyll. It's been shown to be a powerful detoxifier. It's often prescribed when somebody has mercury poisoning. Hmm. Got those fillings. You know, yeah. th those were all approved, mm -hmm. you know, back in the day. And then we find out, you know what, they're toxic or potentially toxic. Take recommended doses of the green algae, which you can buy as a supplement whenever you believe you've been exposed to radiation. Uh, it's a blood purifier. So, I mean, I would take it on a daily basis, and I don't like the taste, so I prefer capsules, you know. And, again, capsules, be aware of what, what those capsules are, too, um, as well. So, yeah, this is amazing. Cruciferous veggies. Kale, cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, they're all powerful cancer fighters as well. Reishi mushrooms. There's a re there must be a reason why I, I'm not mushroom crazy, but I like these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really actually like these. Um, and lately, my body's been craving mushrooms. Yeah, these have a lot of really great benefits. You know, they can even help with things like depression, everything. Simple, good old vitamin C. Just make sure it's not made from petroleum. You know, I mean, look into what you're actually purchasing. So many vitamins out there um, are not good. You know, synthetic vitamins, again, they're finding more uses for stuff that's basically waste material. Coconut oil, awesome, awesome, awesome. I gotta remember to buy another bucket because we buy it by the buckets. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we use it in our toothpaste. I throw it in the bath as well. Um, you know, I bathe Zeke in it because <laughs> he's got sensitive skin. So it, it's soothing as well. It's fabulous. It, it's great for, uh, you know, fighting infection and disease. Ashwagandha, another uh, herb sometimes called Indian ginseng. Very powerful. Immune system booster. Apples, apple juice, remember, right? Mm -hmm. we, we've heard this from other sources, including our rosemary. That, you know, if you were exposed, drink apple juice. Seriously, it can help. It can uh, it has pectin, which can bind with radioactive residues and get them out of the body. Also, plums, oranges, and grapefruit. Beets. Beets are very potent blood cleansers as well. And garlic, which we consume massive amounts daily. <laughs> yes. Which... In Ayurveda, they, they feel it's a little bit too fiery. It can burn out your adre adrenals. 
Um, so you got to go by what you feel too. listen to your intuition and develop your intuition. And so there's other ones, too, that can help, like kelp, seaweed, rosemary, miso, brown rice, ginger, green and black tea, onions, lemons, avocado, sauerkraut, sauerkraut. That's a superfood, too. Horseradish and sea salt. We prefer um, pink Himalayan. I don't know, for whatever reason, every other salt right now just tastes too salty to me. Way too salty for us. It's just something our bodies are going through. So we're listening to it. Yep. So, guys, be prepared out there. Um, it, there is an ominous vibe to August, so please do take extra preparations. You know, be ready. Uh, maybe stock up a little bit more. We're going to be doing a, a good stock up again, a restock, I should say, as we did let our stuff kind of dwindle because we were moving, you know, all over the place uh, and we kept food in storage. So, you know, we're going to be doing a little bit of a restock plus, you know, hyperinflation. It's, it's real. We can see it. There will be shortages coming. So be prepared for that. Try to grow as much stuff as you can uh, yourself. So, you know, it's organic, natural, not irradiated and mm -hmm. not covered in Roundup. Yes. And you have all that lovely live nutrition. So good for the body. Thank you for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Please do check out Medicinal Foods. Uh, you know, the feedback has been awesome with everybody that's been trying Medicinal Foods. And there's a link on every video. Good stuff you could count on. And good people as well that understand consciousness and where we're going. God bless and namaste. Namaste.